Hello. Um, yeah, most people ask me what is a transformation, and especially a transformation of uh, polynomial degree one is very easy to explain. So let's assume that this is a map, and as you can see, this map can be everywhere. So it's in my hand at the moment, and I don't know where are those elements of the map. So I can easily say, okay, this is in the lower or in the upper right corner. This is in the lower left corner, but well, that's it at the moment. So, um, but how can we transform this map and how can we say this has a real world coordinate there and not somewhere else? So, but as I've said, we would like to do it on the example of a polynomial degree one transformation. And for this, we need three points. And I would like to tell you now why three points. So let's assume that this is the map. This map can be everywhere, so I can move it around, or I can somehow maybe expand it, shrink in it, I can rotate it everywhere. And um, so let's assume I have one point and I'm holding it at one point. What can the map do at the moment? The map can do several things. First of all, it can, can rotate around that point. So we have several. Uh, degrees of freedom they are called. First the rotation, then of course the stretching, it can still be stretched in different positions, but it is somehow fixed to this point. So we can rotate it, like I said, and stretch it still. So what is the second point? So let's assume I have a second point, this here in the lower, lower left corner, so I'll, you can see me still. Um, what else can I do? Well. I can still rotate it, so it's not really fixed, but it is somehow fixed, and I can still um, stretch it a little bit, especially in this direction, which is orthogonal to this axis here I created. So when I'm using a third point, and now I will do something nasty, I will bite the paper, then the complete map is fixed in both directions. I cannot stretch it anymore, neither in the orthogonal direction nor in this in the direction of this axis. And I can say where every coordinate is. So the paper itself is fixed. Um, this is polynomial one. Three points, one point, still rotating. Two points, I have an axis. Axis, three points, I cannot play around with the paper anymore. Well, what about polynomial two, degree two and three? So, if you have an image or a paper that um, somewhere was distorted or photographed in a bad way or whatever, um, there might be not only the paper, but you can you can twist it around like this. You can't do that with polynomial degree one because there needs to be more points. If you have it like this, you need to add a fourth and the fifth point because you can easily twisted around like that. For polynomial degree 3, if you have some sort of lens distortion or something like that, I would do that with that. You can even lay it like this into the real world. So, but once again, polynomial degree 1, or also called a fine transformation, you will need three points. One will still allow you to rotate the map. Two will still allow allow you to rotate the map, but it's still fixed on that axis. Three, everything is fixed and your map is um, geo-referenced correctly. Thank you very much for watching, take care and goodbye.